All right. I bet you didn't think you'd be hearing from us again, but here we are. We're going to play twist. Zelda 2. Let's see. Yeah, I don't okay. even remember how to work this menu. That's what, like, that's one thing about NES menus. They're just so, like... <laughs> I don't know. You have to, like... Did you see that? Like, you had to go down past the other three files before you could just say yes. Yeah, good thing I remember how to do that. So what do you know about this game, Weston? Um, I know that it's the Black Sheep of the Zelda series, obviously. I mean... You could argue that any of the NES Zeldas are the Black Sheep, but, like, this one is... Now, Black Sheep, is that a racial term? Or what, what, what do we mean when we say Black Sheep here? Well, I mean, when you look at sheep, think about it. What do you think of when you think of a sheep? You think of a white fleece coat, right? Yes. Are, so, are you re are you really going to try and break it down for me? I, I do, I do, I am familiar with I'm the term. I'm doing it, I'm doing it for Okay, fine, purposes, thank you. Bro. I appreciate it. But, uh... What I know about this game, obviously it's a side-scroller. Um, Link can jump, for one, which is a feature they did not implement again until Skyward Sword. Honestly, I, I think... I mean, um, Breath, Breath of the, of the Wild. Wild. I honestly think that like Breath of the Wild compares like the most closely to this game. Because it's open world, you can kind of do whatever you need to, you know? Yeah. And that's the nice thing about... like. I'm sorry I'm wandering around. Like... I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do first because it's been a while. But I do know how to... See, my one experience with this game was like on a homebrewed Wii with like that shitty NES emulator. That's oh shit, I'm used to having, like, of all the attacks. But we don't get, like, a lot of the good ones until, like, way later. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, dude, this is the seizure mode, too. Alright, there, yeah, there's one. Do, uh, warning, do not watch if you do if you deal with that shit. Oh, there we go. Did you get him? No. Alright. Can you hear the system audio, by the way? What do you mean? Can you hear the game? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, nice. There's one of them, but there's another one right there. <clears throat> there we go. This game's like... Th and keep in mind, this is like one of the first caves you can enter. <laughs> like, well, you're supposed to have the candle to do this, but I'm trying to get this power early so that the first um, dungeon will be easier. Alright, I'm almost dead. I forgot how like little life you start with at the beginning here. You can only take like four hits, right? Yeah. So I wanted to talk about, like, how this game is, like, almost stigmatized by the community just because, like, I mean, like, I don't have an exact example besides AV AVGN, but I, like, I do feel like people, like, kind of pan this game just because it's so hard, but it's really not that bad. You know what I mean? The like thing is, it's, it's one of those games that, like, once you know how to play it, like, you're pretty much set. Like, it's once pretty, you master like, the it's combat. pretty damn accessible, and, cons like, compared to the first game, which people fucking love, like, it's not even that, like, cryptic, really. Sorry, I keep, is, like, I keep forgetting what I'm doing. I need to go to this town. The thing is, like, the combat in this game is pretty fun, too. Like, Actually, I can't remember which town I have to go to in order to get the first ability, so I'm gonna wing it. That's what you do in these games, bro. Yep. That's why they're open world. Is this rock error? I don't know. Follow us. Well, thanks, buddy. So, it's not, this game does not have, like, Castlevania Syndrome, and I mean Castlevania 2, where, like, people tell you bullshit things. It's actually, like, they'll give you good advice. Um, like, they tell you kind of where to go. Alright, so every town has a wise man. This one's a freebie. You don't have to do anything in order to get this one. All you have to do is talk to her, and she lets you inside her house, and then you can get the first ability. Um, that item okay. that we got in that cave that we went to is the mirror. No, it's the, it's some shit that you have to get in order to talk to the dude in the other town. In Parappa. Parappa the Rappa. Parappa Desert. Okay, so it, I don't really understand what any of the, like, anything does in this game. Okay, so we just got shield. It's one of the magic abilities that you can get that, like, makes, it gives you a bigger defense. Okay. So you actually have, like, obviously... Like, going off the Brennel Floss thing that he made forever ago. Like, it has a lot of RPG elements to it, doesn't it? Yes, and trust me, the only reason I know how to play this game is because of both AVGN's video and Brennel Floss's video. Huh. Which, you know, they're both memes. I, I, it gets... The game does get really hard near the end, but... I don't think this game is nearly as hard as people say it is. You know, I've noticed it's a trend with, like, different games in series, like, that originated on the NES. It's like... People, sec people bitch about how hard it is. Well, no, but, like, with second entries, I feel like that's where the... That's... A lot of second entries in series kind of have the weird... 
sort of like experimental things to them, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, well why don't you back that up with some facts? Okay. What games are you talking about, bro? Um, American Super Mario Bros. 2, Zelda 2, Fire Emblem Gaiden. Those are three that immediately come to mind. I'm sure there's others. Gaiden? Gaiden. Like Ninja Gaiden? Yeah, like Side Story. Uh, Gaiden. Yes. Uh, I don't think I know anything about that one. Shadows of... It's, uh, it's... Shadows of Volunteer. Just for, all, for all of you who don't know, Weston is the huge Final Fantasy person. Final Fantasy. Uh, fuck, Fire, uh, Fire, Fire Emblem. Emblem. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I've, I just I've noticed that it's like a, kind of a trend, like especially with like a lot of a lot of like first party titles. The second entry is like the one where they kind of get like a little experimental. You know, they do something different. I love a game that gets experimental, and, and Fire Emblem has definitely gotten more experimental with you know the gay characters. I, I'm a big, a big appreciator of that. So it's an interesting thing. That there are a lot of people that like get unreasonably mad about it. With this, you can jump very high. So is that something you have to activate, or is that just like... Yes, yeah, so you're, you, you go to the menu, and then you select it by just going to it. You unpause, and then you can access it by pressing select. You know what it's I think would be system. fun? What? Never mind. After the recording, after the recording. What, is it controversial? No. Please don't tell me that as soon as this recording ends, you're just going to go off about how much you hate Jewish people. No. That's how every single one of these fucking video ends, and honestly, I'm sick of it. I'm sorry, man. I can't help my heritage. What, uh, <laughs> Palestinian heritage? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're ready for the first dungeon, boys and girls. Are we now? Yes. And if you ever want to play, just let me know. Alright. I'm content. Play? I'm content with just watching for now. Okay, you gotta learn the but ropes. Like, I I was gonna say I do need to play before we get like too far into the game. You you can't aim upwards, right? Uh, you can't until later. Okay. Like you don't get the up thrust for a while. Obligatory AVGN reference. Oh, the cunt thrust. <laughs> See, I do. I must have watched that video like a thousand times. It's ingrained in my memory. I didn't grow up oh, on this game. you can see him on the bottom. I didn't play it. Yeah, you can, you can see him. It's just a pain. That's the only enemy in this one because you're supposed to go through here in order to get to the first dungeon without the candle. Because you don't get the candle until here. Well, get this. Uh, fun fact. The first time I ever beat Ocarina of Time was in the middle of our uh, Four Swords playthrough. I was going to say, I thought that the first time that you actually beat it was when we played it. No, the first time I actually beat it, I played it on the uh, virtual console. Oh, you did? Like, while we were in the middle of our playthrough. I see. That was, like, the first time I ever played through the game and, like, beat it. Just a little fun fact. And then, uh, Majora's Mask, I'd, I'd beaten... I beat Majora's Mask before I beat Ocarina of Time, but, like, I knew enough about Ocarina of Time. Like, nothing was spoiled for me, you know what I mean? So, do these enemies have, like, do we know what these guys are called, or are they just hopping menaces? I don't have the player's guide. The player's guide is, like, where all the enemies are listed. Because I know those oh, are, like, the, um, Those what? are, like, the souls or whatever they're called. Okay, so if you level up, like if you get to the number that is at the top of the screen there, you can upgrade your shit, but I'm going to wait until I can upgrade my attack. And you have to choose what you upgrade, right? Fuck. Yes. So it's, it's kind of like Paper Mario in that regard. It's very RPG-esque. Okay. It's like I, always liked how, I always liked how Thousand Year Door, like when you leveled up, it's like, what, like, what do you want to level up? Yeah, most RPGs are like that. I guess I've been just <laughs> I've been playing like too much like Fire Emblem, just the rates that they have like growth rates, so it's like you don't get to choose what you level up. Oh! Uh, Do you so want to trade off now? I'll give it a try. Okay, here you go. Okay, so let's see. What are the controls on the PS controller? Um, just uh square to do your shit, and then it's cross to jump. Okay. So yeah, if you have full health, obviously you get those shots there. <laughs> if you have no damage, like can shoot sword beams. Is that a meme? Yeah, it's a meme. Oh. It's just people that were, like, so intrigued about it in Smash. And don't forget, you can use your shield for projectiles. That's a very important thing for this, because it kind of, like, assumes that you're going to take advantage of it. Especially with some of the, like, later enemies. That's the thing, is, like, I would argue that Zelda 2 was, like, it's it's pretty skill-based, you know? like. Well, that's what I like about it, is because in most Zelda games, what you're going to focus on is, like, the dungeons and shit. But this one really focuses on the can combat. Can I this guy? No. Uh, don't fuck with him until later. He takes like a million hits to get. Right, I was just trying to see if I could block him with my shield, which... No, you, like, you have to do projectiles to block with your shield, so... and then some sword attacks from enemies. Okay, so the shield is literally only good for projectiles. Well, watch, this guy, this guy you can block his shield. All you have to do is stand right in front of him and he can't hit you. So you just stand right in front of him. He'll never get you that okay. way. Okay, I see. 
go past the elevator. Like, what I like to do is I like to go past the elevators because usually you can get what you need for something later if you go forward. Oh, shit. So when he hits you, you actually have that recoil. Yeah. That's kind of an interesting little, like, little mechanic. What, recoil? Yeah. Bro, you just haven't played enough platforms. Wait, did it just reset our whole thing? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. But we still, like, you retain every item that you ever got. So we still have all of the, um abilities that we had we okay. just have to start over our xp that's not too bad so at what point does the game ask you if you want to like save or anything um when you die you always start from the castle you just okay. keep you keep all of your abilities so that's how you progress okay so you don't actually keep your level then okay that makes sense yeah but you keep all the keys all the progress you've made in dungeons you, well you keep your level too mm-hmm <laughs> Is that what you uh, said? Yeah, that, that's yeah. that's what I was wondering. You do keep your level. Okay. Because I noticed that uh, Zelda 1 was actually like the first game ever, wasn't it, to like incorporate saving? Or one of them. I want to say it was one of them. I'm not sure if it was the first. I remember seeing that like that something we'll get blasted for in the comments. The first, but I oh! Know. You don't know that Zelda 1 was the first game? Uh -oh. Yeah, I would have to look that up. I would definitely have to look that up. This game has like three songs in it, by the way. Wait, hang on. I'm going to see if I can get this guy. Fuck. Maybe not. I was going to say I wouldn't mess with him. Just wait. Hang on. I can do it. I can do it. I swear. Fuck. Nope. So how do you heal in this game, then? You kind of don't. You get like a life up thing later, but for the most part, you either rely on fairies, which are pretty infrequent... I think there is one in this dungeon, though. Okay. Are they on. are they like a low drop rate? Give me one more go. Okay. Um, no, they they're pretty much in the same spot in dungeons all the time. Um, but on the open world, they appear like infrequently. They they appear like uh, overworld enemies, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Precisely. I remember like a few things about this game, but like not a ton. Fuck. Dude, I swear I'm better at this game than I'm letting on. Uh, why would they, like, I don't know. I hate how it has the beep, because it, like, just cuts out the other, like, the other channel of audio, you know what I mean? Makes you feel anxious, which I'm yeah. sure is what they were going for. Well, like, the thing is, it cuts out the percussion, so it's like... Oh, there's a fairy over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yay! Boom. Now you can listen to the music to your heart's content, Weston. I love the music. Oh, See? me too. Don't get me wrong. This game has great music. It just has, like, three tracks together. See... I, would, I remember, like, when I was younger, I'd be in the car with my family, like, on my 3DS, and my sister would be like, will you turn it down? And I was like, you know what? So when you saw that meme that was, like, with the Switch, you were like, I can relate to this. Yeah. But not only that, but it's like, the thing is, I like my, I like audio when I play a game, because I like well, the, I like some headphones on. You, it, you say you're playing your Game Boy? My DS. There you go, put some headphones on. I didn't have any headphones. Dude, how much were headphones back then that you didn't have a pair? I was a poor child who did not have a job. Poor, poor child, my asshole. What are you talking about? My parents never gave me, like, hella spending money. Oh, really? Yeah. They didn't even give you shit? I didn't have an allowance. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. So, what is it, like, life two? Does that mean we have, like, two bars of health now? It means that we're at level two health, which means <clears throat> that we have another bar, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure. You can pick up literal heart containers in this game, too. So okay, there's more than so, one way to get health. So, like, life is kind of, like, the set that you don't want to really waste level ups on, then? Yeah, it's just like real life. You know, you invest your time and skills into different things besides your general, like, upbringing. Okay. That makes sense. Exercise, who needs it? Good diet? Out the window. Yeah, are you kidding? Nah. Uh, I don't think I can go down there until later, so I'm gonna go up the... or down the other part. Okay, I see. So yeah, you take less damage. This guy's gonna get it. I really want to kill him. Is that a bubble? A bubble? I don't know. It's got a skull in it. Well, that's well, that's like the name of the enemy, you know, like the the bubble. Oh, in the, the evil time. bubble. Yeah, yeah the skulls. Sure. I would assume that's a bubble. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what bubbles looked like in other games. Were they like literal bubbles in like Zelda: Ocarina of Time? In Ocarina of Time, they were the skull and the flame. And same with Wind Waker. I'm gonna lie to you, bro. I have to pee so fucking bad right now, but the gameplay's so engaging that I can't stop. Sometimes it really be like that, though. 
You know, I would I actually wouldn't mind doing like a mar holy what the fuck? cow, that guy's a freaking fast boy. I know. <laughs> Damn. All right, you guys can fuck off. Life seems like a, like an actual really valuable level up to have like at the beginning. Attack's better. I'd rather Attack wail on my enemies than anything. Offense is the best defense. Ooh. So wait, so what is the magic then? Magic lets you do your special abilities. Okay. So you just cancel the level up, so what does that do? It means that I can wait until the next level up so I can get enough points to level up something that I actually want. Like okay. attack, which is what I'm going for. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Fuck, this guy jumps around like a total asshole. Oh, fuck you! Okay, you can play. I have to be though. Oh, shit! Okay. Oh, boy. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay. So, I am a total noob when it comes to Zelda 2. I have not really played this game before. Oh. <laughs> guys, it's not funny anymore. Stop. Okay, that's nice. When those guys who have, like, really freaking erratic movement patterns are, like, only give you 2 XP... Yeah, this game is, uh, I'm sucking ass. If given the opportunity, would you rebalance this game? Nah. You like wouldn't... I told you, I want to make a game that's just like this, just, like, different. Mm -hmm. Like, I would make it as hard, too. Maybe, like, create actual checkpoints. You should. I will do it. I feel, I feel like people are still at the point where they appreciate, like, the classic inspired 2D indie. Well, duh, that's like... all people, that's all indie people make is, like, classic homages. <laughs> fucking monkey whatever this thing is hammer bro ass looking ass he is a hammer bro yeah this is the guy I died to yeah these guys are a pain in the fucking ass how do you like know their pattern I don't I just got lucky yep there we go so now they can't like okay. all the caves will be lit up now See, we're already making progress, bro. There we go. Is it all we need to do in this dungeon? Hang on. Uh, excuse me, what? Is there anything else we need to do in the dungeon? Yeah. Yes. So you see that number at the very bottom, six? Yeah. That's the amount of gems that we have to put back in their fucking place. So once we've done that, we win. That's, how, that's like the end goal of this game? Yes. Is he, oh, okay, that's right. Technically, you can leave dungeons, but you can't beat the game until you put all the gems back. So, like, once you have the item to proceed, it's like any Zelda game. Because you know how if you get the item that you need in order to proceed, you can technically go wherever you need to? Yeah. So you can sequence break the game that way. Okay. And yeah, this game doesn't let you sequence break that much, but it does have, like, a couple of things that you can do out of order. Like, you can do Death Mountain before a certain dungeon and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's see. No current of time, you can do, uh... I know, like, one notorious thing is you can you can do, like, the uh, Shadow Temple before the Fire Temple. Is that right? I know that you can do the Shadow Temple before, like, one of the other temples, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure about that, actually. Ocarina of Time is a fun game. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think that this game, like, really highlights what was good about video games, though. Like, as opposed to, like, the nostalgia shit that we encounter with Ocarina of Time and whatnot. Like... This game is just inherently fun, and it, like, moves really quickly, which I really like about it. Like, every Zelda game is different, and this game... Like, you're right, it is a black sheep. It's a black sheep. Number one, the black sheep. Well, like I said, it's, like, it's the it's the experimental second title in the series. It's the bi-curious title. <laughs> the, uh, the soup... Well, actually, Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2 wasn't... It was basically in the same engine as Mario 1, wasn't it? Which one? Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 in Japan. I was gonna say, if I recall correctly, Japanese Mario Two. I think so. Was actually in this like it's a, it's very very similar to the original Super Mario. I'm pretty Bros. sure you're right. Because I know that in America we just got Doki Doki Panic reskinned with Mario characters. Well, I know that. I just never I've never played like the actual Mario Two. Neither does I. McLaren really like Mario Two. The the American one. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, McLaren likes a lot of really weird things. Like what? I don't know. Name one other weird thing that he likes. 
I'm not saying you're wrong, I just... I wanna know what you're thinking about. <clears throat> I don't know, I just noticed he's into, like... I'm, I'm trying to think, like, you, oh, you, yeah. you know what I mean, but, like, I can't, I, I can't I know really, like, articulate mean. I just, anything. I, I'm just, I'm trying to think of another fucking example, but I can't. He is into weird shit, though. I like, think McLaren is one of those, like, hipsters who would never admit that he's a hipster. It's like a, like a weird affinity for, like, Greece. Greece? Yeah, like, The Greece. play? No, like, the, the place. Oh. Of all places. Oh, well, Greece is cool. Well, well, Greece is cool, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's just a very... It's a, it's, a, it's a very McLaren thing. To be like, oh man, I love fucking Greece. Yeah, we gotta get him on here. We do. We tried recording a podcast with him, but he was, he was, we were all very, very far gone. Is that what happened with that? Yeah, that's why we never uploaded it. I thought we never uploaded it because it was just bad. Well, it was bad, but it, it was bad as a result of us being too far gone. Oh, fuck. 